Where are we, you ask? Well, first, who are we? Welcome back to Novia Cedaries. I'm Brian. I'm Stephanie. And where are we, Brian? We are in Disney Springs, across the street from the famed Gideon Cookie. Yes. We're making it happen today. We have learned many things. We'll give you the tips. <laughs> One of them is don't bring kids. Um, <laughs> and practice patience. <laughs> yeah. And here we are. Come on a weekday. Yes. And so um, right now it is a Friday afternoon at about one o'clock. The wait is two hours and 10 minutes. And I told the kind lady that that was the shortest time I had ever heard. And I am so happy. Yes. And, and while we wait, what are we gonna do? Uh, so we're gonna try Hangar Bar, which is right across the way from Gideon's. And then who knows, might have some drinks, get in trouble, maybe watch a movie. I don't know. Enjoy the day off in Disney Springs. are limitless. Yes. All right, guys, we're going to see you inside the hangar bar. So we are seated in the, what is this, a boat? Yeah, On it's a boat. In Jack Lindsay's uh, hangar here, the hangar yes. bar. And we get to watch the little uh, car, what's it called? The Amphibicar. Amphibicar go in the lake. So um, that's kind of cool. But we've got a nice lake view, it's beautiful. Yes. And uh, what'd you get to drink? So I ordered the Fountain of Youth, which is St. Augustine, Florida Cane Vodka, Bulls Blue Curacao, white cranberry juice and sweet and sour. Mmm, that sounds delicious. It does. Uh, it actually does sound really good. Refreshing. I can't wait to drink your drink. And it's gonna make me younger. True, yes. Who needs Botox? <laughs> I've never had Botox. <laughs> um, and I'm getting Reggie's Revenge, Florida King, Orlando Orange Vodka. Never tried it before. Uh, Midori melon liqueur, white cranberry juice, and fresh lemon juice. Wow, that is very refreshing. Light, um, fruity, a little tangy, not real sweet. So if you like sweet drinks, um, I would probably say no. How's yours? Um, that one is, it's a little sour. Probably from the blue curacao and the sweet and sour that's in there. Yours is sweeter than mine. Yeah, mine mine tastes kind of like a melted popsicle, like those yeah. cake popsicles that uh, you freeze. Yeah, very slight flavor of that, but I definitely get that. Good, yeah. Yeah. So you want to tell them what you got to eat? Yes, so we ordered Air Pirates Cargo Loaded Pretzel. The omelet pretzel comes prosciutto, sliced brats, artisan pepperoni, smoked cheddar, black diamond cheddar, caraway pickles, spicy mustard, and beer cheese fondue. Yum. Yummy. Can't wait to try it. And I got uh, Dr. Forrestal's Tarasco, which comes with grilled flank steak with pumpkin seed chimichurri sauce. I can't wait to try that. Fried sweet plantains and spicy ahi amarillo peanut sauce. So uh, a lot of flavors going on. Can't wait to um, have those flavors in my mouth. And so we ordered the empanadas, which are the Tipos empanadas. They're crispy fried empanadas, hand stuffed with beef, onions, peppers, potatoes, olives, cheese, herbs, and spices served with fresh chimichurri sauce. And that sounds good too. Yeah. And outside is really nice. We're in this really nice shaded boat yeah, area. Got a little breeze coming right now, yeah. so it feels wonderful. Looking out onto the water. It's we can see the boathouse right across from us. Yeah, it's supposed to be a high of 89. Um, so it's kind of really nice to step out of the heat be in shade and have a tiny breeze so uh yeah and when we're done i'll show you the view it's really nice i can sit here all day and just drink and eat we right. have gotten our ginormous pretzel charcuterie yes look at that 
Yummy yum. 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 They, they put the meats in the middle of the pretzel to stand up and the cheeses. Oh, it looks wonderful. And we just got our empanadas. Yeah, I can't wait to try all the combinations. Who's the mathematician out there? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items. How many different variations can you make with ten items? Ten, ten factorial? I don't know. I don't know. I sucked at that. Yeah, I'm trying to do the math. I was I the kid that would write it out, like, and try to figure it out and waste my time because I didn't learn how to actually calculate it in my head. <laughs> the beer cheese is really good. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. What else did you try? I tried a sausage with the um, pretzel. This is a place you can just come, sit down, have a few appetizers, mm -hmm. a few drinks, and relax. If you're looking for a place to relax at Disney Springs because it's crowded, there's so many people out there, it's hot. This is great. And then our churrasco came. It looks really, There's really good. Steak with a chimichurri sauce. Something smeared across. I don't remember what that is. Don't get a lot of um, spice with that. Kicking in a little bit at the end. But the steak's not real tender. I know it's blank steak, but tenderize it or something. I think the steak has a lot of flavor. It's got mm, almost. Almost like a citrusy, like maybe they put lime or something in the chimichurri, which probably is the case. So the empanadas are pretty well fried. Oh, they're still hot and we got them a little while ago. I like it. The inside is um, really well seasoned and the pastry is nice and super crispy, just like I like my pie crust. Yeah, I would, you know, for me, the pastry is just a little bit too, too done. But I do like the crunchiness of it. It's got a nice crunch to it. And it doesn't taste burnt. I just like it just a tiny bit more chewiness. Got some birds that are surrounding us right now. I don't know if you can hear him, but he's like staring us yeah. down. You're like, feed me. No, go hit up the next people. You can't go wrong with our goodie. I see why this is the most popular item. Like, everybody can have something. It's got meat, cheeses, bread, sauces, pickles, like, Perfect. Even my kids would eat some of this. So we were talking about billionaires and how right now I follow the stock market and the stock market's really weird. Anyways, we we're talking about billionaires and like at what point do they not say enough is enough? Like once they got to 10 million, once they got to 50 million, once they got to 100 million, once they hit their first billion, like why don't they just stop? Go retire somewhere, live out the rest of their lives, traveling the world, seeing the world. And so I asked Stephanie, I said, all right, if we, what would be enough for us? Let's say it's 10 million. What would you do with your time? So I'd like to know you guys' comments. Stephanie said she would like to go shopping. I also said travel. I said travel, said travel. and then I'd spend my time shopping. Because what else am I going to do? Sit at home eating bonbons? No. But I also would probably take care of myself more because I'd have more time to do that. Yeah, she said personal care things like massages. Although I failed to mention the manicures, gym. Manicures, pedicures, <laughs> doing her hair, you know. And, you know, for me, it's, it's travel. It, it, I, I love traveling. I love um, getting immersed into the local culture, uh, not the tourist areas. I want to go in and eat at the hole in the wall places and shop at the markets and talk to the people. We're going to Disneyland and California Adventure on two separate days. Uh, I think this Saturday we're going to California Adventure and then we're going Monday to Disneyland. It'll be my first time ever actually going inside the parks. Brian and I went last year, but the parks were still closed out in California. So we were just able to see the outside, um, which was fun for me too, but inside is going to be even better. So let us know where we should definitely go to. I mean, I know a lot of the rides are similar to what we have here in Florida, but there are quite a few that are we don't even have here, um, which I'm excited to go on. We will have all of our BSers with us, little ones, and they're not the biggest thrill seekers. Yeah, or walkers. So we'll see how long they last at the park. That's why we didn't get the cookies last time. <laughs> yeah, so we're excited to do that. <laughs> And uh, it'll also be one of our little BSers first time at Disneyland, so uh, it should be fun. Uh, family members are going to join us as well, so we'll have a big party. 
But, we'll probably um, vlog a little bit of it. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. But if you guys have any recommendations on where to eat by, by the parks uh, down there, because uh, we are staying in Anaheim and um, we'd be willing to go do a restaurant review out there. And if not, we've got plenty of recommendations from my mom. I grew up there, so um, whatever's left that hasn't changed, we can always go there. But yeah, if you guys have any recommendations, we definitely will consider it. All right, well, we're going to finish up here, and uh, we'll see you guys outside. With cookies. all of the goods. Yay. We bought the whole store, spent $100. 80, but one of each yes. <laughs> of pretty much everything. So here we've got the, I think this is the, taste know, let's it. just taste it. It's either cookies and cream or it's uh, peanut butter, right? It's the peanut butter, the other one? I think this is cookies and cream. Yeah. You like that? I think that's peanut butter. I don't get a peanut butter flavor, actually, both either are, one. Yeah, I don't get a peanut butter flavor in either one either. But they're both really good. They're very uh, sweet. Um, a nice sweet treat. I honestly cannot tell the difference um, which one has peanut butter. They're really good, sweet, cold, refreshing. Um, not too sweet, though, surprisingly. I, I expected it to be super, super sweet. It's not. Yeah, I like them both. They're pretty good. I would order them again. Yes. So, I don't know if we're going to try all of these cookies, but we're going to start with this one. This is the cookies and cream. Oh my goodness. And we need a knife. <laughs> we don't have one. <laughs> they didn't give us anything. But they are huge. I'm just going to break off. Why don't off. you break off a piece and split it in half? Cheers. Good. <laughs> it's a good cookie. Really soft on the inside. I mean, it's a lot of cookie. There's no way you could... There's no way we can eat all of these cookies right now. <laughs> no. Uh, really soft. I like, like with this one, they crushed up the Oreos and popped, or like coated the cookie with the Oreo, and then there's Oreo inside too. Yeah. And then this is the peanut butter one. It's chopped with, uh, it's got some sea salt on it, and it looks like some peanuts, as well as peanut butter chips. Yeah, as Stephanie said, it's got the salt, and the salt and the sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, so good. You know, I was semi expecting the cookies to be a little hard. Yeah. But they're not. They're, no, they're very nice soft. and soft. Just like I like them. Oh, this is one of the special cookies. This is the Frankenstein cookie. And it's got Oreos uh, and MMs. Can't see it. I like the other two better. Yeah, I was um, just going to say, I like the, the regular cookies and cream one better. If you really like MMs, plain MMs, yeah. that's great. I'm not a big fan of them. I'd much rather have almond or peanut m and Yeah, it's a little bit chocolatey. Yeah. I guess, like it adds chocolate sweetness. Yeah. Right, this is the triple chocolate. That's really good. I mean, if you love chocolate, it's chocolatey. Super chocolatey. It's really dense, too. Yeah. I mean, that That's one the feels... chocolate cookie inside, too. More like a cake than a cookie to me. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's way too sweet for me. Way too rich. Like... I'm already, I'm done after one bite of that. Yeah, here's the regular chocolate chip. So is that the triple chocolate? That was triple chocolate. It's the double chocolate? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I think I prefer the, the ones without the chocolate chips. It just makes it too chocolatey. Yeah. I'm not a huge chocolate fan. Yeah. This one is pistachio toffee. Mmm. Wow. That was good. I wasn't expecting to get every flavor in there, but I did. I wasn't expecting to even like this cookie. Initially, when I was going through and telling Brian what I was going to order, this was not on the list. That's, this is really good. Yeah. This is by far my favorite. 
This one's a sleeper, I didn't realize. What's it called? Oh, is that another M&M &M one? This is the Bride of Frankenstein, and it's got, um, instead of regular Oreos, it's got the Blondie Oreo. And white chocolate chips, it looks like, on the inside. I like this one better than Frankenstein. I think it's the amount of, the, with the chocolate chips, are the, the m ms um, that gives us the right amount of chocolate for me. They take um, dough, the cookie dough, and they cover it. Oh, geez. These are way bigger than I thought. Are they? I thought they were like tiny. Oh my God. <laughs> How many are in there, two? <laughs> uh, no, there's like five or six. Wow. Well, just... Let's try it. Break me off a piece. Okay, we're going to have to bite it. Sorry. I like it. Is it? Too chocolatey? Oh, it's too much chocolate. It's too sweet. It's good, don't get me wrong, but two or three bites in, you're gonna be like, okay. Too rich, I'm done. Try and show you this on the video. It looks we'll like take a picture. it has a ton of frosting, which maybe we should try the cake first because I'm almost a little too sugared out. It's actually really good, better than I was expecting. And like the, the frosting is very light, at least that I had. Yeah. It's like a, it's almost like, they, like a whipped. They whipped it, yeah. So it's not real dense. Um, well, I am not gonna lie to you guys. I uh, was not anticipating much. I was I put all that crap on a cookie. It's just too much stuff. <laughs> but that pecan cookie, toffee. That is pistachio. The best. Sorry, pistachio. <laughs> the best. Way better. I, I than like all I said. Of them. I wasn't even going to order that one. It wasn't on my radar. I was like, I don't, pistachio, eh. Then that I put my cape on and I came to save the day. And I was like, <laughs> let's get one of each. Yeah, because I was not going to be greedy, but then we got greedy. Yeah. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to go back to Gideon's for a pistachio. <laughs> Girl, I know you're going. <laughs> All right, so that was the end of our day here at Disney Springs. We enjoyed our Jock Lindsay's hangar bar, the appetizers we had there, and the drinks as well as the cookies and cake from Gideon's and the coffee. So what was your favorite part of the food at the hangar bar? At the hangar bar, it was definitely the charcuterie pretzel. Um, since my stomach's not feeling so great since so being hung hungover, um, the pretzel really helped that and it was really good. I liked dipping it into the sauce that came with the empanadas. Uh, that sauce had a little bit of a garlicky flavor to it and it was pretty good. Yeah. And I also like the cheese sauce. Yeah. So, um, I thought it was all good. Uh, the only thing I didn't like was the uh, flank steak, the ch chorazgo, which was tough. Um, but the flavor was good. It was yeah. just tough meat. And I don't like tough meat. It's chewy. takes a long time to swallow. Um, but um, I would agree with the charcuterie, probably the best of the three that we ordered, although all three were good. And uh, if you come here, I mean, literally, you could split the pretzel with someone else and you guys will be full if you eat the whole thing yeah. you'll be full it's a it's an entire meal for two so uh, maybe if you got a happy hour empanada or something you know outside but you really only need the charcuterie and you could sit there and just nibble on it and have a few drinks and enjoy the uh, view and um, hopefully it'll be nice and breezy it's in the shade so yeah, yeah. what'd you think of Gideon's uh, I wasn't disappointed was it worth the wait the multiple times we've been here yes um i do think it's worth it to wait especially i mean if you're here on vacation and you want to walk around downtown or downtown disney that's what it used to be called it's disney springs um you know there's plenty to see plenty of stores to go into plenty of places to grab a bite or a drink while you wait um i do think it's worth it I mean, I guess the cookies are a little expensive, but we did order seven of them and a piece of cake and two coffees, and that's $80. Yeah, so that's 10 items, so about $8 an item. Yeah. So that's that's resort prices. For a half pound cookie, I, I'm not disappointed. No, we, we have didn't plenty. need all of that, but the kids will eat it. So, and uh, you can freeze them, right? Yes, you can freeze them or put them in the fridge um, to keep them a little longer yeah. and just cut off a little piece. Yeah. There's no way a kid needs to have that in their hand. Right. Not our kids. <laughs> no. And um, I am not going to say it was worth the wait because I don't feel any food is worth waiting three hours multiple times. I know today was only two. We lucked out. But um, I do have to say that uh, pecan, no, 
pat pistachio uh, toffee. Toffee. Excellent. And okay. you're gonna I'm just telling you, I know a lot of people who have that allergies and I'm sorry you can't enjoy the best cookie that Gideon has. But um, wonderful. It wonderful was really good. Cookie. My favorite besides that one was probably the cookies and cream one, the regular one. Um, those were both really good. I'm gonna go home, not today. Um, in the near future and recreate that cookie because I think I can do it. Sounds good. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, no BS eateries, and we will see you in the next one. Yep.